Hello you multi musky muskox mountain people men. <laughs> I'm Ralphie, welcome to the Bothy. And before we go any further, a big mop mention thank you to Call of the Wild Man. Thank you, Call of the Wild Man. And can you hear the Call of the Wild in this fabulous single malt scotch whiskey I am about to review in Ralphie Review 905? Well, yes, I thought you might. Let me introduce Glen Cadam, 18 year old. A slightly hazy single malt. I don't know if you can see that clearly, I'll put myself behind it. There's a slight haziness in the bottle. It's a light straw coloured whiskey because it's unchill filtered and there's no added colouring. It's bottled at 46% and it's 18 years old and that malt makes, makes, makes this an integrity bottling. And particularly at a time of year, because I'm recording this at the end of November 2021, um, we're in the mood to buy ourselves a treat. And when it comes to seasonal giving for New Year's gifts and the big spending that we have up to that point, um, we know from experience that the best presents that we receive are the ones we buy for ourselves. I know it doesn't tend to come as much of a surprise when we open our gift that we've bought for ourselves, but hey ho, it saves any disappointment of unwanted gifts from others who have put sentiment into their choice, but they've not read us right. It happens. Anyway, back to the single malt here from Glencadam Distillery. This is an East Highland, Lowland, right? Distillery, let me explain that. It's in the Highland region, but it's in the lowland part of the Highland region on the east coast. Right next to a great big cemetery, by the way, in case you didn't know. And uh, there's another, another, um, just for pure anorak information, another cemetery which is literally across the road from a, from a, a, a distillery is Ochentoshin. There you go. Not the cemetery, the distillery. Just to clarify. So I've poured a glass of this uh, before we got started because it needs time to settle down, oxidise just a little, get to know its way around the glass and um, like all older whiskies which have been well made, the more time we invest in the experience, the more malt mates we will be rewarded on the nose. No peatiness. This is a peat-free zone, this Glencadam. Also, you notice that there's a softness to the nose. Creaminess. A cereal, creamy, slightly honeyed note on the nose. So, quite an expressive whiskey for 18 years old. And at the price, certainly in the UK, very good value. Aided considerably by the integrity of the presentation, as soon as you nose it with the softness of the nose at the strength of alcohol, you're dealing either with a flavourless whisky or a very well made whisky, and in this case, very well made. Fresh fruits, some apple, a little bit of very gentle touch of pear, and a mere hint of gingeriness. A little bit of vanilla and some very soft sultana floating about in the background. But as soon as you put your nose to this, whatever your level of experience, how, how, for however long you've been exposed and immersed in Scotch single malt whiskey, you're going to be very happy about it because the, what it's suggesting is that the flavour is going to be rewarding and it is. Even neat, you'll probably feel there's no need to add any water. And if you are going to add some water, just a little drop. It's quite zesty, cereal driven. Again, fresh fruits in there and some grapes, white grapes, apple, a little bit of 
hint of pineapple in the background and absolutely fine if you want to have it neat and of course you have the experienced mop mates that you are not concerned one jot about the fact that the contents of the bottle are slightly cloudy you know because you've done your research it's not because I'm telling you this it's because you already know from your personal experience that there's nothing off-putting about that in fact it's an affirmation of the calibre of presentation which is why more and more bottlings are appearing as integrity bottlings particularly at this time of year have you noticed? I thought you had I'm going to add a drop of water to this but I have to say not a lot we're off to a good start quite promising I've added about two millilitres of water, so quarter of a teaspoon, just a drop. A minute in the glass for each year in the cask. You're going to be very well rewarded. This whisky is what's called a slow burner. As you, having added a drop of water, as you continue to nose it and taste it, particularly in the taste, you will see it grow the overt sensation of citrus, grain citrus, will soften. It will become a little bit more naturally sweet, driven from the spirit, because the cask influence here is not assertive. It's very complementary. The cask combination here, and it's primarily ex-bourbon casks, first, second fill casks, probably quite a high percentage of second fill casks, are allowing the signature of Glencadam to really sparkle. So if you've bought the 10 year old version and you've enjoyed it and you want a special treat, I recommend you buy the 18 year old version. It's a very good single malt, but hey, we're not at the malt mark yet. It also gives you an opportunity uh, to Partner the bottle. If you buy the 10 year old Glencadam and then you buy an 18 year old Glencadam, you can mix the two together in different combinations, different volume levels, and it remains a single malt. Whatever you produce, you're creating your own unique version of Glencadam, and you can do that with any single malt as long as you have two bottles. And it doesn't have to be official bottlings. It can be an official bottling and an independent bottling. It's a fascinating experience and it's a great way of giving yourself greater permutations and variations of a distillery signature at a very reasonable cost. And in the case of Glen Canham, in re relation to its value, the cost is, is very competitive. So, <laughs> Take note, coming back to the whiskey now, before I dive into the malt mark, it becomes a little bit zestier, a bit fresher, a little bit slightly more confectionery in the nose. There's more fresh fruits becoming almost slightly confectionery fresh fruits, but still retaining the freshness. The cask starts to exert itself. There's a sweetness coming from the ex-bourbon casks which really mesh into the signature of the Glen Cadam stills beautifully well. Uh, taste, and this is the highlight of the experience. We're now coming to the, the ace card moment. The highlight, the, it smells great, but it's the taste after about 10 to 20 minutes, once you've had a drop of water. This is where you, you get reassured that your investment has been worthwhile in buying a bottle of this whiskey. The range, arrival, development, finish, really stretching. There's an aromatic note coming from the grain in the casks. The flavour is a continuity of the smell that you get off the glass before you even taste it. There's a nice slight tannic fresh zesty bite in the finish and during the development you get this 
frankly amazing. Um, fresh fruit, conserved fruit, slightly pickled fruit. All these permutations of fresh fruit, primarily apple, grapes, mild pineapple and a little gentle soft banana in the background. All in all, a pretty impressive whiskey. What am I going to give this? Well, it's coming up to the end of the year and it's the season for giving and the best givings that we can give are to ourselves without being selfish about it. So I'm giving Glen Cadam, 18 year old, 90 out of 100. It is a malt mark. That's what it is. And it's an integrity malt mark. And this is a good example of a single malt whiskey I will go out of my way to buy again. I may not open the next bottle for quite a long time because it's going to take me quite a long time to finish this one. Yeah, but the thing is, I know and I've got another bottle in my stash bought at the same time as buying this one. So it's the same batch. It's the same generation. It's the same recipe. It's the same malt because the two bottles are bought within a short space of time, just a few months. So the chances are greatly increased that you're going to get another intact version of what you've already experienced. Beautiful stuff. If you'd like to join me again for Ralphie Review 905 Extras, I shall be introducing three whiskies which I have bought again. And I've bought them again because they're so good that I want to add them to my stash and I recommend that you do the same. But hey ho, I'm just here to give you my experience and a bit of practical advice. I'm not telling you what to buy. So be aware of that. I'm Ralphie. Thank you for joining me in the Bothy, somewhere in the Irish Sea. As it's getting a little bit colder now, we're getting into the winter season, so I'll be putting the fire on shortly to stop me getting all misty in the mist. And uh, thank you. Subscribe if you haven't. Click like if you want to. And um, make sure you don't miss another episode of these in-depth, singular and, yeah, eccentric whiskey re reviews. We'll see you soon, malt mates.